Welcome to setting up your Raspberry Pi over uh, USB so you can program it. We're going to cover three things, setting up your Pi and accessing it via PuTTY. Then we're going to have a look at how to install the VNC and access the graphical desktop. And finally, how to get the VNC server running and uh, set up Minecraft. This is a comprehensive guide, so the first thing we'll start with is how to flash your SD card. So I'm going to click on the uh, SD card flasher, uh, which will open up and then uh, write the Jesse iOS image to the uh, SD card. Now that your SD card is ready and your image is flashed, uh, there's two simple changes to make to the uh, um, to, two of the files and then you're ready to use your Pi Zero on the USB port. So when you go to your computer, um, open up the boot and we want to find the uh, config file, it's a config text file. So I'm going to press type, just to put them in order and you can see here config is the file to open. Right click, open it with your text editor notepad or wordpad or if you're using anything else obviously uh, you can open it with that text editor i'm going to scroll down to the bottom and i'm going to add the simple line dt equal overlay equals dw2 so we're just adding this to the bottom of the page save it close it close it And now the second change we're going to make is to the command line. So again, I'm going to right click, edit, and uh, I'm looking for the word root weight. So I'm scrolling here. Uh, so here is the word root weight. And after this, I want to press one space. And I want to add in the following line. Modules minus LD equals DWC comma G ether. Uh, be careful with the spacing here because it's very particular. You only want one space after this. The best way of doing this is press space bar once and then delete this all back. Uh, if you head over to Andrew's um, website, uh, he has a fantastic overview of how to set this up in text form. And if you actually scroll down uh, towards step three, towards the end, he's actually written out all the code uh, very easily on this website. And you can highlight it all and copy and paste that in. So if you do have problems doing it, um, head over to his website. Step number three. Click on the link. And you can just paste all that straight into that file. So next up is uh, plugging in your Pi Zero, which we'll do now. Right, so I'll plug the Pi Zero in. Uh, this is straight into the USB port. Uh, it takes about 90 seconds for it to boot up. Um, so this is the SD card that you've just configured, uh, plugged into your Pi Zero using a USB cable to connect to the USB, micro USB on the Pi Zero, and then using that to connect to a USB port on your computer. And once that's booted up, I can then test that it's working by uh, using a program called PuTTY. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to type in Raspberry pi dot local and press open and this will now attempt to connect to the raspberry pi which is connected via the usb log in with the normal credentials and uh, there we go i'm into the raspberry pi um, i can access the files the folders etc change the directories as normal so in part two we'll have a look at how to um, install the VNC, which is the virtual network connection, which allows you to use a graphical interface and actually access the, um, the desktop uh, and, and the icons, and obviously ultimately moving towards using Minecraft. So the first thing you need to do is head over to Real VNC and download the VNC for your desktop or your device. 
So I'm using a Windows 10 computer. I'm going to click Windows. And obviously these are my options here. If you're on a Mac, choose one of these, Linux, and so on. So you're going to click download and download that. Whilst that's downloading, uh, you need to head over and download the um, Raspberry Pi Preview Real VNC software, which is going to run on your Raspberry Pi and allow you to um, access it. So this is available at github.com slash real VNC slash Raspberry Pi Preview. Scroll down and you are looking for the download. So installation, download the VNC server package from GitHub releases. Click on that. And this will then begin to download uh, the software that you require for your Raspberry Pi. So this one is the, uh, the software packages to run on your desktop, which you're going to use to access your Pi. And on the GitHub, this is the software here downloading, which you're going to send to your Raspberry Pi to enable the two of the devices to talk together. You'll need a license key to um, access the Raspberry Pi server and the full capability of it. So on the uh, Real VNC website, go back to the beginning and click on License VNC. Scroll down and we want to use the free version. Click on Get Key. Fill in your details uh, and they will email you a um, license key which you can use later on. So now you've downloaded your VC server Raspberry Pi software, uh, we now need to actually send it to the Raspberry Pi. There's a number of ways you can do this. You could either copy it to uh, a memory stick and then place this inside um, the US, uh, place this inside the Raspberry Pi. Um, obviously it's a Pi Zero, you're not going to have a spare USB port because you're already using this to connect to the laptop. So what you might do is take out the SD card, place this into a, a Raspberry Pi 3 or 2 and then transfer the document over. or Depending on what you've got installed on your, your desktop, you could go send to and use something like WinSCP for a file transfer. Obviously this will connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi using the same information as before. And then you can transfer over the uh, file. So I'm just logging in with the normal Raspberry Pi uh, details. And then uh, I can literally transfer the documents over and so on. So now if I go back to my putty and to my Raspberry Pi, uh, what I now need to do is install it. And you can see uh, the VNC server alpha is there. And uh, I use this control or this command here, sorry, to install it. And this will obviously install the Raspberry Pi software that I downloaded from the GitHub. Um, you may find if you download the software directly from the VNC website that it is um, in a compressed format and you'll need to use a slightly different um, command. What you'll need to write in is sudo tar xvf vnc tar.gz. Use this to uncompress it and you'll be presented with these extra files to install uh, but this is only if you're using the downloads from the real VNC website. I'll assume for this that you want to access Minecraft and you've downloaded it from there. Okay so now we can test that this is working and uh, in order to do this what we need to do is type the following command VNC server. And the VNC server has started. So now what I need to do is note this IP address here. And this is what I'm going to use to enter into my um, Brazil VNC viewer. So click here. So now I am on my laptop and I can access my Raspberry Pi. Minimize this so you can see it in a separate window. And I've got full access to everything working well. Now, one thing you will need to do um, is in order to ensure that it uh, boots up to the desktop, you will need to configure your SD card um, boot up to ensure that it uh, boots to the desktop. 
So in order to do this, we need to do sudo raspi.config and then um, scroll down to boot options. And you want to um, ensure that it boots up to the desktop before requiring login. And then obviously reboot that and uh, change it as normal. Welcome to part three then. Um, in this last final section, we'll uh, set up the final changes to the real BNC so that you can access Minecraft. Um, in the previous step then, we used the um, VNC server viewer, which allows you to access um, and check that it's working. In this one, we have a few more changes to make. So the first we're gonna to need to do is to set up the license key, um, which you, um, you signed up for in part two. Uh, the next thing then will be to set up a password for the VNC server and then uh, make some changes to optimize the Minecraft playing. The first thing we need to do then is to set up the license key. Uh, what you'll need to do is type sudo VNC license dash add and then in here type the license key that you were given uh, when you signed up in part two for, uh, for the real VNC. This should be sent to you by email. Enter that in and then press enter. Next, what you need to do is set up a password to access the uh, real VNC. And to do this, type sudo vnc password service. This will begin the password service running, uh, enter in a password, confirm what it is, and then you've set up your password and you are ready. The uh, final customization to make is to start the VNC uh, server automatically whenever you boot up your uh, Raspberry Pi or your Pi Zero. So to do this, we're going to add sudo system et enable VNC server x11 server ID service. And what this will do is ensure that uh, every single time you plug in the Raspberry Pi into your um, uh, USB port, that it boots up. So we've done everything here. Uh, you can now reboot it. And um, just some final changes to make to the um, real VNC settings. So we're going to close this. Okay, so we'll open up the VL um, VNC and go to options, expert, and I'm going to make three changes. The first one is to the preferred encoding. Click here, ensure that this is set to JPEG. The next one is to the auto select. And the auto selects, we're going to ensure that it's set to false. And the final one is the color level. Color level set to full. Press OK. Return back to your v, uh, VNC viewer. Remember, you can use Raspberry Pi local or put in the IP address of the uh, Raspberry Pi. So the server is now running on the Raspberry Pi. Press connect. Um, make sure obviously the username and the credentials match. The password is the password that you entered in in, um, in the beginning of this step. Um, obviously the username is the username of the Raspberry Pi. The default is Pi. Press OK. And we are now connected. So if we go to menu, uh, games, Minecraft. And here is Minecraft. Create a new world. This is all running now on my uh, laptop. So you can see Windows 10 here. And here's the Raspberry Pi running Minecraft.